hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to fix could not load file or assembly I have installed Microsoft SQL Server 2012 in my PC I'm trying to connect this database through MVC application let's visit my MVC application for this example I have created a sample project right click the project and new item I'm choosing adword.net entity data model I'm leaving the name as it is click add the model content entity framework designer from database the first one I'm choosing click next new connection and the connection property is the data source is Microsoft SQL Server SQL client and the server name is user PC slash SQL Express and I'm trying to test connection the test connection succeeded click OK OK And here I got a message could not load file or assembly Microsoft SQL Server dot management dot SDK dot SFC version 12 of SQL Server to fix this error we need to download Microsoft SQL Server 2014 feature pack We need to download Microsoft SQL Server 2012 SP1 Future Pack. If you are using version less than 2012, you need to install the 2008 SP1 Future Pack. And this pack is suitable for 2012 Microsoft SQL Server. I'm clicking the top one. click download we need two files to download one is shared management objects and the second one is this one SQL system CLR types and notice here in the download summary I am installing shared management objects and SQL system CLR types. Click next. Hello. Open the shared management folder. Run. next I'm accepting the terms in the license agreement next install click finish the management objects installation now the second one SQL system CLR types open run click next next install click finish to exit once I install both the setup files I'm restarting my visual studio open the solution explorer right click the project add new item I'm choosing data adword.net entity data model and the name I'm leaving as it is model 1 click add I'm choosing EF designer from database click next new connection And the server name is user 
backslash SQL Express test connection test connection succeeded click OK OK and notice here we have not received any error we are able to connect SQL Server database here is my connection string that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos